Join the ranks of pop culture's most beloved icon with collectibles and gear from Doctor Who, Star Trek, Spider-Man, Pac-Man, and more. This month is Icon. Christmas was a madhouse. All of you go thank your mamas for putting on Christmas because it is it is a thing and it takes quite an effort. So but we are back with geekness and there is just so much good news in the loot crate scene. First of all, these are not sponsored. I'm not getting paid. I'm just sharing with you guys the information. It actually does help everybody who already has a loot crate to encourage more people because the more people we get the better the stuff gets because they have more people and can throw crates out and they are throwing crates out. I have two crates already and I have shipping information where it's already in route for two more crates. So they have gotten all the crates out that they promised us last year. So this we're starting a new year with all our crates already in place and I am super excited. So we are talking January's crate. Now what is January's crate? Icons. And again, this it's a super easy one. It's a nice one to begin with. We're looking back at some of our favorites. And yes, these are some of my favorites, which is why I'm so excited. Now, this theme did come out the 20th of December, but being that it was really close, close to Christmas, I wasn't going to do a video. But it has given us some extra information because, of course, Loot Crate has been releasing leaks. Well, leaks. They've been releasing things. To, get, to give hints the closer we get to the close date of each crate. So the first thing, the first fandom they give us is Spider-Man. Spider-Man has been a beloved figure for longer than I've been in, in existence, let's be honest, longer than my parents have been around. Spider-Man is one of those ones that's been around for so long and is so loved. And there's just been like, since I've been in fandoms, there have already been three versions of Spider-Man and that's only in the last 10 years. So there has been Spider-Man. Spider-Man's always been a big fan favorite. So that is just easy. Now, are they trying to recycle stuff? They might be, but again, there is a lot of Spider-Man merch and this is a very easy one to find as an icon. So Spider-Man is coming and we are here for it. The next one is Doctor Who, and I've been super excited, y'all. I have been a Whovian for a very long time. I've kind of fallen off the bandwagon with the new ones, just because it is harder to get in the U.S. But I love me some 10, 9, 11. Those are my favorites, and I've even watched some of the older stuff. It, it's just super cool to find it. And again, this is one where if you are a Whovian, this is a very big fandom. There is a lot of merch to be found. I think I even have a sonic screwdriver around here somewhere. I did a cosplay of 10, so this is super, super cool and very, very easy. For those of you who don't know who Doctor Who is, and these ones I might do a little bit less of an explanation on the fandoms because they are beloved fandoms. They're going for ones that we all know. Doctor Who is sort of a British thing, so it might not have transferred here. It is an alien that travels through space in a blue box, a blue telephone box and goes back and forth in history. And there's a lot of fun stuff. They do a lot of historical stuff. Um, my personal to date is still going to be the Van Gogh um, episode where they went back and encouraged him. And that was just a very cool episode. But there's just so many cool things. There's all kinds of fun villains. There's all kinds of fun like fan secrets that once you're in the fandom you find out. 
my favorite to date is the 10 suit and tie change depending on whether he's going forward or backwards in time. So if you guys haven't figured it out, go watch and see if you can notice patterns. I will give you a hint. The colors are brown and blue. Okay, the next one is Star Trek. And of course, Star Trek has been beloved. It was actually the very first con was the Star Trek convention after the original series ended. So this one is, again, a fan favorite. Everyone, almost everyone knows Star Trek. I'm not going to say, I was going to say everyone, but I know a few people that haven't. Even if they have not seen Star Trek, they've heard of Star Trek to the point where the fandom has created its own language around Klingon. Yes, Gene Roddenberry did create a few words, but linguists have come and created a whole language around Star Trek. Of course, this is for all of you in the U.S. who've been hearing about the Space Force, the beginning of the Space Force. So Star Trek has encouraged a lot of scientists, a lot of engineers to create all the tech we've been seeing for all these years. Um, if you go back through from original series all the way through, you've seen Google Glasses before they existed. You've seen tablets before they've existed. You've seen flip phones before they've existed. All of this tech is coming into being as people try to figure out how they can do this. I'm still waiting for transporters. I hate traveling and I do it a lot. So I've been informed though that the science can't do that. So I'm hoping one day we can conquer that boundary though. We might all end up like Dr. McCoy going, I don't want to be demolecularized. Demo demolecularized. Try saying that five times fast. So again, this is a very classic fandom that almost everyone knows. And there is, of course, abundance of merch as it was the very first con and it's only getting bigger. The next one is Pac-Man. And this one actually kind of intrigued me because Pac-Man is a very big fandom, which you wouldn't think given that it's a video game from late 70s, early 80s. Uh, for those of you that don't know Pac-Man, Pac-Man is the yellow half circle thing. And he eats the ghosts. And there's pretty much nothing to this game. It was a, one of the original 8-bit games. So, But even today, I work with teenagers, and they decided for Halloween to dress up as the ghosts in Pac-Man. So they all had each had a colored shirt with the Pac-Man face on it, and one of them was Pac-Man. And it was just brilliant. It's a very simple one. It's one that, again, everybody knows. So they are definitely going for an all-inclusive vibe. It's not quite as pigeonholed as some of the other crates have been. And then, of course, and more. Well, we've already gotten four fandoms, so that is pretty big. However, I have a spoiler, as of course. It's not really a spoiler if it's on their website, right? If you have not gone to the website and you don't want to know the spoiler, you're going to have to turn me off and come back after you get your crate. But it is a doozy, and I thought it was super cool. And, of course, it is yet another favorite beloved fandom and that is Batman I was super excited when I went online I did stall this video a little bit partially because of things and also because it's fun to get a little bit more information now if you want a total mystery crate you're gonna have to pass me by but they did release an image of a Batman collectible they're going to put the Batmobile in the next crate now clearly it's not gonna be the full Batman the Batmobile but like a replication and there seem to be several different ones, so it depends on what series you get as to which Batmobile you'll get. So they have the old Adam West one, they had a new one, and so they're just a whole bunch. As you can tell, I'm starting to talk fast because I am getting excited. I love these ones. So we are going to get the Batmobile. That is their leaked item for this year or this month. So that is super cool. Again, icons, this is a very easy one. There's lots of stuff they can put in it. I'm just super excited to see what comes because these are fandoms that I can get behind. Um, as always, you have until the 19th of January to sign up for your crate at 9 p.m. Pacific Time U.S. And again, I don't get any coverage for this. It's just one of those things. Like I said, when the, um, when the bankruptcy happened in the summer, part of the problem they were having was people pulling out. How they supply the crates is they get stuff wholesale, I would imagine, and then they can make as many crates as they can. So the problem being is if you pull out of your subscription, they lose that money to then help the rest of us that stayed in. I'm not trying to guilt anyone. I'm just saying the more people that join this, the easier it is for them to get stuff. So we are super excited to see what is coming. And Icon looks super cool, and I can't wait to unbox it for y'all. 
Okay, guys, that is all I have for this week. I hope you guys had a wonderful set of holidays. There were only some I saw stressful. And let us look forward to 2020 to being a glorious year for Loot Box and all geek merch. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. We are coming back with videos every Friday. And just let me know what you guys think. I love talking to you guys underneath in the comments. And I will see you guys next Phantom Friday. Bye.